Joe Bullard, an embedded systems engineer with Stress Engineering Services. Stress Engineering is designed the embedded sensor hardware in the Smart Ladder Safety System. I'm Ellen Gentini with Knowledge Inc. We've developed a big data platform which captures data from applications like the Smart Ladder System and uses our backend platform to manipulate the data to provide information to management, in this case, to make users more safe. Today, we have a demonstration of the auto ladder safety system. Uh, the auto uh, safety system is composed of a ladder with a number of sensors embedded in the feet in the top, as well as a processing unit located in the top. Uh, the ladder interprets sensor status in real time and makes a judgment call about whether or not the user is being safe or unsafe. The ladder then relays that information to a supervising server to let the uh, construction worker supervisor know if the activity is safe or not. The second piece of our smart ladder system is the management dashboard. Messages are sent from the ladder wirelessly through the cloud. They are encrypted in transit, read and re-encrypted for secure storage in the database. Management can then examine these messages or perform other analytics to improve safety on a worksite. For the final piece of the auto smart ladder system, an email will be sent to a group of supervisors that have been pre-programmed into the system. The supervisors can then intervene if necessary in the event that they identify an action that is unsafe. The first scenario we'd like to demonstrate with the auto smart ladder system is normal use. In a normal use scenario, the ladder will identify that the user is being safe and will issue no alarm. The ladder will also be silent as long as the user is acting safely, even if they're carrying a load. The first alarm scenario the smart ladder identifies is a simple leaning scenario. In this case, if the user is leaning outside of the safe frame of the ladder, the ladder will detect this and issue an alarm. That first tone you heard was a warning. If I continue to lean further, I'll get a second tone indicating an alarm. The ladder sends out a message wirelessly to the backend server, which issues an email. The email could prompt a supervisor to come and investigate the behavior. In this next scenario, the user has the ladder in a folded state. The alarm identified is called a front load alarm. In this case, all the load is on the front two feet of the ladder. The management dashboard is the access point for a project manager or safety supervisor to review information on worker behavior. It records detailed information on both warnings and alarms generated from the ladder. We have a drop-down box on the left side, which allows you to filter by ladder number. On the right, we have a pie chart which displays aggregated counts of alarms and warnings collected over time. This will be useful in spotting trends. Below it, we have a different representation of aggregated warnings and alarms over time. In this development dashboard, the middle box on the bottom is an example of enrichment of the data. In this case, we've added weather information. For demonstration purposes, we've inserted actual names, but in the real world, there will be no personally identifiable information here. This is another dashboard which displays analytics information. The middle box shows detailed history of warnings and alarms. In these cases, we have sunburst charts which allow drilling down on specific users and problems they've caused. The key here is you can use this information to develop individualized training programs to address specific worker behavior. We also have aggregated data 
which incorporates more weather conditions. These and many more analyses are possible in a machine learning environment not displayed here. There we can do many iterations of conditions and incorporate predictive analytics. Demonstrated here is only a small set of what the auto safety ladder is capable of. Many additional scenarios have been identified and programmed in 